Hey folks, it's Antar. Welcome back. I've got a lot to talk about today, and so I'm just going to get right down to it. First of all, Utah's retirement. Oh my god! Utah is one of the big reasons why I started putting up narrated PBR battles. He was a huge inspiration to me. Uh, and he just goes up and deletes all of his videos. Kind of insane, but I respect his decision. And oh well. Um, second of all, uh, about this battle, uh, this is not for the faint of heart. Uh, I, you've heard me complain on this channel about hacks quite a bit, um, and this battle has an amazing amount of hacks later on uh, that'll probably make you want to cry. Um, what's even worse is that the hacks was in my favor, um, so I guess I don't have a right to complain, but this battle left a really sour taste in my mouth. Okay, so I start off with my standard rain dance combo. Um, get off my rain. Um, don't get the flinch on the first turn, though. Too bad. Um, his Quagsire um, goes with a curse. Um, uh, Porygon Z used hidden power. I'd switched out my Jirachi, uh, who'd taken it as a super effective hit, so I knew it was either fire or ground. I missed predict, and it turns out to be uh, hidden power ground, and it's super effective against Lantern. But Lantern is bulky and can take the hit pretty well. Uh, and I take down Porygon Z on the second turn. Meanwhile, Quagsire keeps cursing. Um, kind of funny. Uh, but anyway, out goes Ninjask. Uh, I pull back Lantern because I know what this guy's going to do. He's going to Earthquake. So now both of my guys um, are uh, in the air. And uh, yeah, Ninjask uses Protect, um, which is what every Ninjask does on the first turn. Masquerade does Hydro Pump. Uh, I didn't predict that well. Um, and Quagsire used Earthquake just as I expect, and so the attack does nothing, uh, which is nice. Um, I, have, I did have some good predictions in this match. Uh, Ninjask uses Aerial Ace against Masquerade, um, which is a one-hit KO, what with it being a super effective hit. Uh, too bad Masquerade goes down. Um, Ninjask uh, takes some Life Orb damage, so at least I know it's not running uh, Focus Sash. Um, I use Giga Drain against Quagsire, fully expecting it to one-hit KO, but it doesn't. Uh, that Quagsire sure is bulky, um, and I don't get the one-hit KO, and that Quagsire is going to be around for a while to come. Um, Quagsire does Waterfall, uh, doesn't KO me either, which is nice, um, but now I'm within uh, KO range of any of his attacks. So Yan Mega does Protect. I'm going to let him get some speed boosts, although his Ninjask is always going to be faster because he has a he uh, has a head start on me. Um, Jirachi uses Iron Head against Quagsire. I know it's going to resist it, but um, I was expecting it to do more damage than that. Luckily, I do get the flinch, which is nice, because um, after one Intimidate and two Curses, it's got plus one uh, stage of attack. And so that would have um, probably KO'd my Jirachi in one hit. A uh, Ninjask takes out um, uh, my Masker, my uh, Neon Mega. No, I'm sorry. Who went down? Oh no, right. He used U-turn. Okay. Um, so he he took out uh, Neon Mega with U-turn. Um, didn't I guess that guy's running a lot of attack. Um, and so I'm now down two guys. Jirachi uses Iron Head against. Um, the guy he switched in, which is Electrode, um, which doesn't do any, doesn't really do much. Quagsire does uh, recover, which re recovers pretty much most of the damage that uh, my Yan Mega did, and now I have no moves that are going to yield super effective hits. So I'm kind of screwed here. Uh, Electrode uses Protect. I'm expecting this guy to explode at any time because he's still got one guy. Um, he still hold one guy back, and I'm down to my last two Pokemon. Um, so, but I guess he was thinking that maybe I was going to use Protect, uh, or maybe that Electrode's not running uh, Explosion. I don't know. Uh, anyway, a little bit of back and forth here. Uh, my Ice Beams are doing barely more than Leftover, although I do get the Freeze. And so here's where the hacks begins. I've got his, um, I've got his guy frozen, and uh, so perpetually for the rest of this match, I'm going to be uh, one Earthquake away from defeat. Uh, I'll run the damage calculations later, but I don't think Lantern can survive a plus one um, earthquake. Anyway, I keep ice beaming, and Quagsire's frozen still. Uh, the rain stopped, not that it really helped me. Um, it, in fact, it helped him. Um, Electrode is protecting itself, um, and 
uh, I'm not predicting those protects well. Um, Ice Beam, I, ex I attacked both of, uh, I attacked, I really wanted that um, Electrode down because at least I could get someone down and this would be a, you know, 4-3 match instead of a 4-2, um, or I guess 4-1 actually. Um, anyway, I do manage to take down Electrode, which is nice. Um, so now it's tied at 4-2, or it's tied at two remaining Pokemon each. His Quagsire stays frozen, um, but again, as soon as that guy dethaws, um, this match is over. Uh, both of my guys are weak against um, ground-type attacks, and um, both don't have particularly high defenses. Lantern uses Ice Beam um, against Quagsire. Um, just keep on whittling down that attack. Also, uh, I'm trying to split my... Um, what's it? Cover my bases uh, that, uh, my words are losing me, um, that Ninjask knows protect and so it's costly to um, attack him with both of my guys. But I know that he can't, uh, but I do hit him with Ice Beam this turn and Ninjask does go down. So now we're each down to our last Pokemon, but this is actually also bad for me because now Earthquake's going to deal even more damage. Um, and again, as soon as he dethaws, Lantern is almost certainly down. I get a crit, more hacks on my part, and Quagsire just stays frozen. This is incredible. I'm like, no, I'm not going to win this match, am I? No, there's no way. There's no freaking way. But Quagsire stays frozen. Beating against all odds, I take this guy down, and I win this match. Now, I mean, this is a victory, but not really. This guy outplayed me. He had better Pokemon, uh, better strategy, and I still won only out of the out of hacks. Um, not happy with this one, but comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.